Why don't Jordan sell out? Hey guys, I'm Ryan. <laughs> I usually don't start these out by doing unboxings, but I thought I would do something different today, so here we go. What's in the box? I got these from Fine Line. I've gotten a few packages before from Fine Line. I will link his Instagram and his website down below. He usually gets Jordans early, so if you're looking to pick up any Jordans ahead of release dates and or even after release dates if you can't get them because they sell out, link is in the description box if you want to check them out. But uh, these are a pair of Jordans that come out very soon, I believe. Yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. Wow, that is a strong smell. The Pure Money Jordan 4s. Look at my down. down. That was so dumb. This is probably the cleanest and most simple colorway of the Jordan 4. I was not planning on picking these up, but shout out to Fine Line, so I got them, and I'm planning on keeping them because this is a definitely a great summer shoe. One thing I do want to say, most importantly, which is something that people always want to know about when it comes to re-releases of sneakers, is is it as good quality as the original? The new version is probably not going to be as good of quality as the past version but now that I have them in hand this is really really plush like this is good leather right there this area right here is not bad as well it's probably not as soft as right here because it's obviously it's stitched and then it's glued in to the midsole the leather up here is pretty stiff it's not as good I hate when they make the shoe like only parts of it really nice leather and then the rest of the shoe is like a very stiff leather the back they didn't add a Nike Air because the old ones had to jump in as well so I'm not mad at that stitched on the inside the sock liner is just like a silk material so that's kind of comfortable they smell good though pure money Jordan 4s Tons of art everywhere you go every corner every street there's street art but I promise you that right there that building right there next to the last Kings that says puke on it that's gonna have one of the dopest street arts you guys are gonna see maybe a week or two and uh, you guys will see what it is I know what it is because I've seen the final image and I know who's making it so uh, yeah Farouk's got a creative mind guys my drone isn't working I don't know what the hell's wrong with it it says gimbal malfunction or something so it was all shaky so there will be no drone shots today no god no god please no no I don't know what we're doing but let's go the big Sean thing? yeah that's what I was trying to drone the big I Sean saw thing. them paint it yesterday they're putting it up yesterday let's go look at it I guess you know how to ride a bike no the hell? I used to have a motorcycle. So that was what I was gonna drone right now, but I couldn't get the drone to work. Sean Don on Melrose. Wait, look at my angel wings, hold on. Told you they got the street art here. All right, we're done being basic LA <laughs> Let's go. If I win these, I'll give them away. You gotta hear it, not see it. That's how you lose $60. No! Spotted the Bape Rolls Royce again. I'm telling you guys, everywhere you go in Los Angeles, there's art, like even the cars. I think I got that. All right guys, we're at round two right now and they have the old version. So I'm gonna do a quick comparison in their store. The sock liner is different. This one's like silk, this one was like a cotton. This leather up here that I was talking about, it being harder is way plusher on the old pair. Other than that, way better leather on the old pair. Well, not way better, but it's more 
like everything instead of just parts of it is better leather. Okay. Gotta work on some projects. Senti fam is a senti? What's it? Pretty fam, something fam. I don't know what you're saying. Being British and I want water. Crew TV with a Q. Yeah, check it out. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna head home, so bye to these guys. I'll see you in the bay. Or see I, see you the bay. I won't see you tomorrow, I'm gonna be Are busy. Are you coming to the studio tonight? If you're not coming tonight, then I'll see you in the bay. Are you gonna go to the studio? I thought you were going to OC. Yeah, but... You uh, guys should both come to the studio. It's gonna be late. Should we go to the studio tonight? Find out, stay tuned. Man. No, what's going on today? Nothing going on today. What am I gonna do today? And I still don't know, and it's almost 6 p.m. My rest of the day consists of me just going home, taking care of a few things that I need to design and come up with for future sneaker con. I'm super crapped out about my drone not working. We're gonna head home for the rest of the day. It has been a beautiful day out here, but it's just like, not every day is super crazy, you know? Let's go home. Earlier I did pass through Fairfax just to get to Melrose and every single time I pass there, there, there is a line at Supreme and I'm always wondering what the hell are they dropping now? Like literally every single day I go over there and then I asked my friend and basically he told me that sometimes they don't even know what they are camping for, they just know that there's gonna be a Supreme drop so they camp out a few days before looking to cop whatever the hell it is. So these people are such diehard Supreme fans that they, fans, that they don't even know what the hell, oh, okay, now I'm going fast. That they don't even know what they're waiting for. Days, waiting days for. I'm not a Supreme guy. Like I'll buy things here and there when I like them, you know? I'm not, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I don't think you need to be a diehard Supreme head to buy something even here and there. But it, the culture and how people love it so much is so interesting to me. And I've been getting more interested into finding out why people are so into it. I did actually, I kind of a hypocrite because yesterday I actually did buy a Supreme Supreme jacket from Mag Park and I'll show you guys that now but you guys will see why I bought it it's just crazy to me Supreme let's go look at all the Supreme stuff I own right now kind of like a Supreme collection video that's not that big it's primarily I don't even know I gotta go look at my house and see what I got My Supreme stuff. Like I said, my Supreme collection is not big at all. I'm not a Supreme head, whatever you call it. But anyway, I wanted to share it with you guys because I know a lot of you guys are interested in this type of stuff. You guys love my babe collection. So it's only right that I do a Supreme collection. And the person who gave me the idea, JC, like I said last time. So make sure you guys check out his channel and his Supreme collection video. I believe he did one. I haven't watched it. But I'll link it down below if you're interested in that. But anyway, my voice might be a little bit echoey in my balcony, but I, I wanted to film here because it's so nice outside. You feel me? Like I said, I did acquire a new piece and I got it from Mag Park. We'll save this for last. First things first, we got the Supreme Noodle Bowl right here. This one was pretty interesting. And I got this from round two at the gallery. I bought a few things and I had like 50 bucks extra cash. And I asked Sean like, well, what can I get for 50 bucks? And he said, hey, you could get this. And I was like, all right, I'll take it. Of course, the Supreme Cash Cannon. I don't want to shoot it because I'm in my balcony, but I'll try to get a dollar out. That was a few dollars. The New York City Supreme Metro card. Yes, I have one of these and I keep them. Uh, I will eventually use this when I go to New York City. Supreme Volleyball. This one was given to Firekicks at a past sneaker con. And since I just moved into my apartment, he gave me this as a housewarming gift. So thank you, Firekicks, for this. I'm sure you guys remember me copying this a few weeks ago. This is like a Supreme windbreaker. It's like an orange checker print. And then on the sleeve, it says Supreme in that green, forest green on the sleeve. Very nice, very dope, very simple. I got it from Mag Park for resale price. Inside tag, size large. Because this is good for those summer chilly nights, you know what I'm saying? Camping table right here. I leave this in my backyard so whenever I'm out here and I want to use it, it's, so it's like super dusty. You can see that Supreme patch right there. I got this one from Valley Fair Mall at the store. Damn, I forgot what the store is called. Sorry to that store. They gave me this. So shout out to them. It's got the cups. I don't have the chairs, 
I'm not really interested in picking up the chairs. Supreme Jordans, you know I had to get these. It's camo, a, a desert camo. There was three colorways that did come out. I have the camo version right here, which is my favorite. You got the 94 on the side instead of the 2-3 or the 4-5. I love that it has the Jordan Supreme hang tag. I think that's a very, very good touch. I believe I wore these to Sneaker Con Los Angeles last year for one of the days. I really like this colorway, and then I really like the white colorway. So as you can see, I have two of the three. I'm not a fan of the black one. I don't plan on ever getting the black one. I feel like the leather should have been a little bit nicer on here, but it's gonna sell regardless because it has that right there. These two were definitely must cops. Oh yeah, this is what the, the money looks like inside the cash can and if ever, anybody was wondering. So, we showed you the shoes, right? But this is the most recent Supreme pickup. We got the white Supreme Jordan jacket right here. I'm not sure what this is exactly called. Had to pick this up. I saw that they had it at Mag Park, so I told Mickey like, yo, I need that. It's nothing really crazy, honestly. Like, it's really, really simple, but it's kind of like a doctor's jacket. Like, I'm gonna go to the hospital and they won't even know that I'm not really a doctor. So that's it. That wraps up my Supreme collection. Yeah, that's it. I just ordered Subway at 1 a.m. You know what I'm saying? Postmates is the GOAT. I got my drone working. My Mavic right here, my drone. This thing is good to go. The only, the problem was the gibbler, gimbler, the, there's like a piece that was hold, that was supposed to be holding the inside of it and it was off of that. So I had to redo it. And I was thinking like a lot of people always ask me what camera I use, what drone, I might have Subway all over me. Camera I use, what drone do I use, what lens do I use? And I thought it would be cool to give you guys that information. Now I'm not gonna sit here and list every single item. From now on, if you guys ever wanna know what I'm using in my videos, all you have to do is go in the description box down below and I put a list of everything I use from the lens to the camera to the microphone. Uh, well, yeah, basically it's all in the description box down below if any of you guys wanna order it. I don't know why my hands are like this. I'll see you guys later. I should probably get some sleep too.